Today, Julie and I are headed to Red Lobster, believe it or not, to try a brand new Wagyu bacon cheeseburger. At Red Lobster? Red Lobster. <laughs> we gotta check this out. Up next, stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are here. We are parked. We have our bag curbside to go. And we got exclusively for you, brand new guys, we got the Crab Stuff Shrimp Rangoons, brand new from Red Lobster. Thought we'd try it. And the Wagyu Bacon Cheeseburger. Let me just tell everybody what it costs. The crab stuffed shrimp, $11.49, and the bacon cheeseburger was $12.99. And that includes a side order of French fries. Okay. Thank you. And with a tip, the total came out to Juliana. What does it say? Total order tax and everything was $26.59. All right, I'm destroying the bag, guys. And there you go, sweetie. Okay, thank you. If you don't mind holding that for me. Okay. And these are the shrimps. Let me just put this in the shrimp holder over here. We got some mayo and ketchup on the side too, guys, because that's just how we roll around here. And I think there's biscuits in here. Let me see. Yep, you got your lobster biscuits. There you go, sweetie. You do? Would you like to start off with a biscuit? All right. All right, guys, let me take you guys in for the much deserved and detailed close ups. All righty, and here it is in all of its fine glory. Brand new from Red Lobster, guys, the brand new Wagyu bacon cheeseburger. Let me pop the top. And we have some tomatoes, guys. We got some greens, and I can see the patty underneath and I do see the bacon we got a side order of fries all right Julie and I are gonna give this a shot and tell you exactly what we think all right guys so as an added bonus we got the crab stuffed shrimp rangoon brand new from Red Lobster Eleven dollars and ninety-nine cents. All right, Julie and I are going to give this a shot and tell you exactly what we think. Okay, guys. So as tradition holds, Sweetie Pie is going to get the first bite as always. Oh, well, thank you, honey. Let me grab a couple napkins here. You want to hold this? Uh, no, you hold it, and I'll grab it. Okay. I like all the different greens they put on it, not just your standard bib lettuce. But you need a bib. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I've never had Wagyu, guys. This is my first time. Mm -hmm. And you can see the burger is absolutely cooked perfectly. Mm. And I'm going in. Salute. Nice char on that burger. That was definitely cooked on a griddle. Mm. Nice and juicy, too. Mm. Wow. That burger is really, really tender. It's got a lot of flavor. And I think the less that they, the greens they picked to put on that really complement the burger. 
I agree with that. I think yeah. the the bun is definitely is holding up nicely. Mm. Um, tastes really good. Now, I, this wagyu thing, I don't think I could tell the difference. Julie, you want to? Should we put a little ketchup on the burger or no? You can. You, you want? know what? I'm just gonna dump a little ketchup in here, mm -hmm. and then um, what you can do is. You can do the dippity do if you'd like. Okay. It's a little messy. Yep. Just, uh... Do you want me to hold this again, or do you want to see if you can? I can pick it up and show me. You can. Yeah. All right. You know that angle there. And these French fries <laughs> guys are absolutely cooked, fantastic. Mm. That actually tastes like cocktail sauce. Mm. So, that's that. so what do you think, sweetie? On a scale of one to ten, mm. with ten being the very best, I'm gonna put a little ketchup on it. Mm -hmm. it. Just gonna put a little ketchup on it, guys. Well, I really like. They did an excellent job on it. They took the difference between the beef. I can't really taste the difference myself, mm -mm. whether it's just regular grade A chopped steak, mm -hmm. hamburger, or the Wagyu wax. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The specialty burger or meat there. It is very it's good. It's Wagyu, not Ragu. Wagyu, sorry, yes. But um, it's still a really good burger. I mean, they did everything very well with it. It's really good, guys. There's mm -hmm. nothing, you know, special out of the ordinary. I'm not picking up anything special yeah. with this Wagyu stuff. It tastes good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely does. Makes for a nice burger. <laughs> Here, you next nice one? Mm -mm. Oh, you just want to burn. <laughs> no, I was just going to get some uh, shrimp oh. for you to try. Okay. Before they get cold. Mm -hmm. In all of their fine glory. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in the... Oh, go ahead. I'm sure. just going to put it over here, sweetie. We're going to put that in the burger holder. <laughs> and these shrimp here, Rangoon. Let's see if I can get these open. Now that my hands are all greasy. There we go. And we got the sauce here. Can you hold that way you open it? All right. I'm going to grab one and do the dippity do. Mm hmm. Mmm. Wow, they are good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I really like these. Nice and crunchy on the outside, guys. Almost like a phyllo dough consistency. Yeah. And then you got the the shrimp itself that's stuffed. These are really good. And the shrimp are very tender. Yeah. Not tough or chewy at all. Yeah, these mm. are good. These are really good, Julie. Mm -hmm. I like these a lot. And the spice on that nice it's hot but it's a nice like refreshing mm. spice to it wow mm. definitely thumbs up on this mm. they are freaking perfect guys yeah that's a 10 plus knock it out of the park yeah. right there hands down I'd want to come back just for this. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I really would like to have those, you know, mm -hmm. as a dinner. That's just an appetizer. Yeah. Brand new. But it's really good. They did an awesome job on this. Yeah, eleven ninety nine. It is kind of steep, but you know what? It's worth it. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Mm. The stuffing's nice and creamy too. And did you pick up this like a little sweet? No, I really didn't. Oh, watch that. 
You gotta grab another bite of the burger. <laughs> That's just how we roll around here, guys. Mm. Mm. So, what's your rating of the burger? Zero mm. to ten, with ten being the very best. What a sweetie pie give it. I give it eight and a half. My feeling is it's a really great burger. They did everything good about it. I really like the the, the lettuce that they put on it. Not your typical iceberg. Yep. Um, the cheese, everything's done very well. The bacon. And to tell you the truth, I don't know that I ever go out and would buy this type of hamburger beef because I really don't taste the difference between this type of beef and just regular ground beef yeah i definitely agree guys mm -hmm. it's a typical burger there's mm -hmm. nothing special about it it's done really well yeah the french fries are perfect mm -hmm. i'm giving it a definite eight it is a it is real good 12.99 a Not little bad. steep well, see, I don't but i guess you're bad. paying for the wagyu mm -hmm. which considering it's supposed to be you know that's not a bad price for that you don't think that's a bad price, twelve ninety nine? No, I think that's probably about kind of average if you go anywhere out to a place like this to get a burger and well, fries. Well, you know what? We had a really good experience at Burger Fi, and if you compared mm -hmm. what I paid for that burger compared <laughs> yeah, to this, that's true. I would much prefer at seven ninety nine Burger mm -hmm. Fi. It was really a knock it out of the park. That can't even compare. Yeah, you know. No, I mean it's a good burger. But, but you that said that's worth it. I, you know, I really down. question it. Well, so. I'm just thinking in terms of when we got the burger at TGI Fridays. It was about this price, around this price range, and uh, so I think that's why it's No, compatible. TGI Fridays was a special. That was five ninety nine, I think, a Friday lunch special, or six ninety nine. That was when we did that dinner. I thought it was a little bit, that was another time. Oh, maybe it was another time. Yeah. But anyway, let's get yeah. back to the what we're trying to do. <laughs> it's a good what, burger, but... You're giving it an eight? Eight and a half because they did a did a really good job making the burger, but I'm gonna give it an eight too, guys. Of, knock it out of the park. I wouldn't uh, go out of my way, but if you want to try it, definitely, mm -hmm. you guys got the green light. Definitely uh, approved here. There's nothing wrong with this. Okay. Um, those shrimp. <laughs> now that's not gonna. Now out that of the park. is that is crazy. Yeah, those are really good. Did, did, you, did you want another bite? I'm I'm stealing this. Um, no, I'm like hey. thinking about that biscuit over there. I want to try try one. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Go ahead. Thank you. I just love their biscuits, even though. These are really good. I just really love these. Yeah. These are just a knock it out of the park for me too. So I'll go back definitely for the biscuits and for the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And if I was here, I don't know that I'd get that burger again, even though it was good. There's one left for you, yeah. sweetie. Oh, thanks, honey. I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna try this. No. Right? No. All right. Mm. You did a good job on the biscuits. Oh, oh thank you. Those are really good. <laughs> yeah. Oops. It's falling apart here. There we go. Okay, guys, from the mobile studio in Hicksville at Red Lobster, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. So <laughs> long.